Welcome back to AJ's world of bodybuilding. And we are six weeks away to the biggest European bodybuilding event this year, the Arnold Classic UK. And today, we're joined by the man who says he's going to take it all, Patrick Johnson and his celebrity trainers, Abdullah and Coach Ahmed al -Naki. This is a good one. Guys, remember to subscribe and let's jump straight into it. Welcome everyone to AJ's World of Bodybuilding. And today we're joined by Patrick Johnson all the way in Kuwait. And we have we have his trainer also, Ahmed L. Say your last Naki. name. Naki. And for people at home, he's also the trainer to Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry. So when people at home, they, they always say Abdullah is the coach, but Ahmed is the one training the hands on the athlete in the gym. So it's very important to people that they know this because there's a there's a big difference. <laughs> so yes, we you. are a team, you know? Yeah. It's a teamwork. Pat Patrick, first to go back, we have seen the pictures that's been going around all over Instagram now. Sometimes we 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 are expecting some of the other guys to come from Kuwait with those pictures, but now we see it's you and the new pictures, Patrick. How are you feeling now? Because this is new level, correct? Oh, definitely. It's a whole new level, man. I feel very, very good, man. Mentally, physically, spiritually, I feel very good. I've never felt better, man. Being here has just deviled me up on every aspect, man. Just to go before a little bit, I've seen some of your pictures. We're going to post them in this interview from how you looked when you were 22 and 23 years old. It's one of the great... Ahmed, have you seen the pictures of Patrick when he was 23? Yes, I saw his, his picture and I thought he's like uh, Ronnie Coleman when he was young, you know? He has it's that kind of genetics. Incredible. Patrick, talk to us a little bit. What what happened? You were looking like this and then you disappeared for a while. Quick, what happened? No, life is full of ups and downs, you know? Injury, family, I have to work, I have to make money, man. It's not easy to be a bodybuilder in Denmark, man, you know. No support in system, no sponsor. Everything, what I've been doing in the past was alone, you know. I was having a full, I still have a full-time job. So um, I got a shoulder injury, a knee injury that I have to take care of. And the, we, the rehab took a longer time. Then I was off like four or five years. Then I started again training slowly back 2015, 16, because my motivation was not so high at that, that time. You know, I was actually considering to work. Yeah, throw off the gold uh, gloves and say goodbye to bodybuilding because I just didn't feel motivated anymore at that time. You know, but. I made a promise to myself and to my Danish people, I need to win an Arnold Classic at least before I retire. So that's why I came back again in 2016, 17, I trained up to the Arnold Rebel in Denmark 2018 and I got my pro card there. Then I never looked back again. Man. It's, still, it's, it's only one way forward from that to the top now, man. Now I'm in Kuwait with Abdullah, <clears throat> uh, for people at home it's not in Denmark for people who don't know Scandinavia it's probably the worst place to be a bodybuilder is in Scandinavia because you don't get no support there's no really sponsorships the, the gyms people look at you strange sometimes so but you, you kept it going that's very impressive and uh, I kept it going man you know bodybuilding is not terrible man Every time life is hard, when I enter the gym, I just feel good, you know. So it's not only about lifting the weight physically, it's hard mentally for me to be in the gym too. So. 
We saw you at the Arnold Classic. I saw you last year. You took a very good, even though you weren't that happy, but you took a good fourth place in a good lineup in your pro debut. Um, but now, how did you go to, how did you get in contact with people in Oxygen Gym? In, explain how that went and how did you decide to go out there? Honestly, I've been in contact with that brother some years back after I won my pro card. But I actually didn't take it like seriously to come here. I could have been here for a couple of years ago. Though. Okay. But uh, it, again, I have to take this ch these chances to to, to, grow. To, to grow and fulfill my dream like, as a professional bodybuilder. So I was in a time like last year after the Arnold Classic UK, I was just pissed on myself, you know, because. The package I, I bought was not good, you know. I was not even like 60% uh, ready, you know. Everything just, my repeat week just went sideways. Everything went sideways. I was stressed now. I was not training. The, I was working too much and I have some, uh, I was in Africa too, for some weeks before I come back to Europe. And when you're in Africa, the condition that the uh, circumstances for being a bodybuilder, it's not good, man. You don't eat, you don't sleep. The food is crabby, you know. It's not like fitness food, you know. Mm. It's like African food. You don't with a lot of fat on it. So mm. then I have to come back. I had like I had I had like uh, eight weeks so that the to get ready. So for the animal, I just didn't hit it correct, man. And what happened last year does motivate me more to move forward. Then I. Yeah, Abdullah contacted me. He, he, he uh, saw some training the images of me on Instagram. He said, um, are you ready to take it to the next level? I said, yes. What should I do? Well, between 44 hours, we talked together. Then the uh, next day, he bought a flight ticket to me. I just called my boss. I, my boss at my work, Mr. Man, I need to fulfill my dream, man. Either you can give me free to go to Kuwait and train there, get ready for the bigger competition, or you all you can fire me. I don't I, I don't care. Then she said, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna I like you. You are the one you play a big role on our work on our working place. So I will not stand in your way. You go to, to Kuwait and do what you have to do. When you're ready to come back to work, you come back. You know, that's the best the, the best decision I ever I ever made, man. My physique just went from amateur level to top professional level. It changed like every day, man. I have been in Kuwait like two weeks now. How, 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 long have you, how long have you been in Kuwait? Two two weeks now, you know. On those two weeks it feels like I've been here for five weeks. No, for like five months, you know. It does change like this, my body, because I don't have to think about anything, you know. Those guys, Abdullah, Ahmed, they just take care of me, man. They take care of me from morning to I go to bed. I don't have to do, think about anything. I so, just have to focus on what I'm doing best. It is put me in the hours and work out, you know. So because Ahmed, I want that to myself and to those guys, man. So, Ahmed, when you saw Patrick for the first time in the flesh, uh, what did you see... What did you know you can improve on, and what's the game plan for this Arnold Classic? Okay, first when I saw him, I saw his when I when I first uh, met him, I saw his uh, training video. I wanted to know how he trains, how uh, he's very strong bodybuilding. When I saw him, I saw a big guy. He's, he's really big. He 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 looks like a type of like Ronnie Coleman type, you know. When you see a big guy. So I saw his training. I told him, how do you train? He likes to train heavy. The way he, his training is good, but it's not like bodybuilding style. He's very strong. He, so we needed to incorporate different style bodybuilding, like uh, superset, negative. He never used these uh, techniques, you know? So we incorporate in this training style to his, uh, to his training. And now he's feeling different. His muscles looking different. His, uh, his, he was telling me today, we just trained shoulder. He was telling me, like, I never had 
this type of pump before. He was he's trained for 18 years and he never had this pump before. So things going well. He's the good thing. Well, first first week was hard. It was hard to for him to listen to me. I was telling him do this. He was like looking at me like this. And then when when he saw the pump, when he saw the feeling in the muscle, he changed his mind. I, I saw it. I, I felt it like he was like, okay, that's the right way to train. So now we're clicking, we're training better. We we are doing uh, four days, four day split and one day off. We're concentrating on his, uh, it's not like a weak point. He, he, he just needs to get it bigger. He, he has the muscle, he has everything, but it just needs to get it more round, give him this 3D look, his shoulders, his back. He has everything, but he just to match up the other body part because he had big arms, had nice chest, he had perfect legs, uh, big round uh, with deep cuts, his hamstrings crazy. So we need to bring this body part like his shoulder and back to match up the rest of the body parts. And when these body parts get a little bigger, his symmetry will change a lot. Mm. So we're, we're going to try to fix this in, what, we, we have like six and a half weeks. Six and a half and weeks, then, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, if he qualifies for Olympia, we have another, like another 12 weeks to prep for Olympia. So it's going to be good. And prep for the good. Olympia. So this means ah. the goal is to win the Arnold Classic UK, correct? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we we never trained for for second place or third. Place. Oh. We trained to win. So uh, we're gonna keep working hard. We're gonna keep our heads down and look forward. And we're gonna do something. I promise. Um, but was it very hard, Patrick, to change this mindset after all these years training the way you did, and all of a sudden everything—not everything, but so much changing. Is it mentally hard, or you just? How is that for you? Honestly, I would I would I'll I'll be lying saying it, it was easy, no. I took a lot of um self self-reflection for myself alone and tried and tried to treat my mind and be more open-minded about his training philosophy. So I start seeing some signs, some um, let me tell you the story. Body, no? Let me tell you the story. <laughs> yeah. He was we were training like the first time. So I told him, listen, I know you trained legs five days ago, but this time we'll train differently. Your leg will be sore next day. He said, okay, he didn't believe me. So I put him this leg workout and he was, I killed him at that day. So the next day he told me, he said, I couldn't do cardio this morning. My leg was sore. I told him, I told you yesterday, it's going to be sore today. <laughs> so then he believed what I said. He, he started believing me. Walk us through, one question. Walk us through, what, what did you do for legs so people can understand? Because I see a lot of guys lifting a lot of heavy legs, but they don't have so big legs. So I'm just exactly. saying, with you, what is this leg workout you put them through? We, we did heavy squat. We did, uh, we, we incorporated like, uh, holding the weight when you do like extension, uh, doing one and a half reps for a hack squat, doing uh, lunges for many reps. He he was he was used to training in a different rep like uh, rep range. You know, like ten to twelve, like fifteen. I I I changed that. I I, I gave him like superset, giant set. So his muscles uh, working differently, you know, different mm. muscle fiber. We work heavy weight, we work very lightweight. So we covered all the muscle fiber, not just heavy set, you know. Mm. That's what changed. That's what what uh, that's that's what changed for him. It's just crazy training, man. That technique he's using, man. I've never tried those before. Like, it is like the leg extension, you know. Yeah. Up and squeeze two second, down negative. Like the leg curls, you do like 12 reps, hold the negative uh, spread for 30 seconds and yeah, continue. Awesome. Like five minutes, man. One rep, five minutes. Mm -hmm. You, It is inhuman, man. It is so challenging. Man. He but... felt it the next day, though. <laughs> <laughs>
I think this is exciting because a lot of people who are not in Kuwait, they have this idea that it's all about the drugs in Oxygen Gym. And that's why everyone is blowing up. But uh, everyone that we speak to, they're saying that it's about the training. So, Ahmed, where did you learn this type of philosophy? Because you're a young man. Uh, where did you learn? I'm not this? young. I'm older than him. I'm not young. I'm 45. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> well, you look young. Uh, young where, did sitting you, there. where did you learn this type of training? Or this meant well, this I've been, type of training? Um, I've been uh, around. I trained Big Rami. I trained uh, Akeem. I trained a lot of pros. I tra so I, tra I, I was prepping Hassan. I'm the first coach uh, prep Hassan. Also, Mustafa. His, Yes, I, I, I got him his pro card. I And uh, he was working with me for his first competition. He got third when he beat Lucas, the late Lucas. Luke Sandow? Or... Yeah, yeah. Lu Lucas, uh, uh, the, the, the Sandow. Luke Sandow? Luke the, Sandow, the, the, the British, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, he was prepping for with me for his first pro uh, debut. He got third. Behind Akim and uh, uh, Kukulu, yeah. that was uh, 2018. Okay, 2018. So I trained a lot of pros. I have uh, many experience, like 25 years experience. I know what I'm doing. Uh, Brandon Curry is coming next week. He told me. Yes. Uh, will Patrick and Brandon train together? Oh yeah, it's it's gonna be the best uh, team. This this is interesting um, because they have yeah, some we... sim. Patrick, are you excited to be from Denmark where nothing is going on to now you're out training with Mr. Olympia for your Arnold Classic win? Times have changed. A lot of change the past weeks. You no, know? and I'm looking forward to train with Brandon with his uh, experiences and the way he's training, his mindset. Plus to learn a lot of things. You know, I'm here for learning, man. Because I, I want to take the next step up the ladder, you know, or else I will not be here. You know. I sacrifice a lot to be here. You know. So I'm not here to play around. Every day it's, it is uh, focus and work. That's the only thing matter for me. You know. So I'm not coming to the UK just to come and compete and be in a part of a show. You know. I'm there for only one thing. That's the victory. Because I know I have what it takes. Now I just have to make my end game correct. So we are going to be there. Who does the diet, the supplementation? Is it you, Ahmed, or is it Abdullah? He's here. It's Abdullah. He's here. Abdullah, come. Tell him about the diet. <laughs> there you go. I, and, and, one, and, and one thing. I hope you guys are... Before Brandon is coming, Abdullah, I saw the latest Big Ramy videos. I hope you guys are hungry with Brandon because... Oh, we need to do something crazy for this Olympia, Abdullah. Just I hope you know. We're going to make it hard for everyone. Yeah. So, Abdullah, tell us the diet for Patrick, for this Arnold. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I try to make uh, with diet, diet with, the, with the Patrick. I will see that the metabolism is high, I was, I was slow, you know. I start with him the high carb, fast carb, uh, uh, easy carb, you know, low carb, you know. This guy, you have, you have potential and you have genetic crazy. Uh, I'm talking to you, be honest. Uh, first time when Brandon coming, I'm better coming. Patrick way better than Brandon. Brandon, you know, he coming like uh, he do la last in Olympia. And Patrick, he coming a new broke out and he gets four on Arnold. But yeah. when you know, I'm, I'm, I'm preparation with uh, with Patrick, I saw something more than ever, you know. You really? have potential. Yeah, you have potential this year from, uh, can beat uh, uh, from top uh, six in Olympia, uh, like Hunter and uh, Nick. Uh, with Bonak and Hadi, he can fight with them. And I told him he can fight with Rami and Bonak and uh, also uh, Brandon Carey. So Patrick has in your and you've seen many many great athletes. So you're saying that Patrick Johnson this year, if he follows the plan and everything goes as it's supposed to be, he has the potential be in the top six at this year's 2022. I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm going to UK warm up and go Olympia top six exactly. I told you before with the Brandon Carey. I told you. 2019 will be uh, uh, Mr. Arnold and Mr. Olympia. And I, I do uh, same exactly what I'm talking about. This year, I'm going to warm up from UK. I show everybody this guy that uh, what, what can I do? I have genetic. And uh, an Olympia, uh, make sure, uh, will be top six. Wow. 
if Arnold Classic, because we never, if if we don't win, because you never know, do we have France as the backup show the next week? We don't do backup show. Oh, yeah, we do yeah, backup yeah, yeah. What? We don't need we don't no backup do bad show. show. That's the wrong mindset, man. Yeah. Oh, Everything yeah, on plan A. Yeah, but bro, bro, I was going to be an Arnold. Who? We have James. Okay, so James Holling said, yeah. uh, Hassan Mustafa is not doing it. We have Andrew Jack, who, um, you know, Andrew Jack, who is doing his debut. Yeah. Bro, he might, he might uh, qualify uh, tonight or He's, tomorrow. He said in an in, he uh, said in an interview, he, he said in an interview okay. yesterday. That he will only be 75% for the Texas, bro. Listen, bro. Listen. Why 75? Because he didn't want to... Uh, listen, I was shocked that he said during his interview that he will only be 75% and he's taking it... Uh, he's chilling for this. Uh, he's uh, not peaking or whatever for this show. No, no, bro, bro. Today, today, today but for, for your pro de debut, you have to be 100%. Today, bro, I tomorrow, agree. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow we'll see if Steve Kukula win this show easy. I promise. I'm not really mad. We'll see. Great. Look, bro. Always, always, always. I saw Andrew uh, uh, face to face. I okay, have my bro. guy. I have, I have my guy. Oh, sorry. One minute. I, I have my, my guy. He's short like like Ashkenali. 85 kg. He beat uh, Andrew last year in uh, Dubai. Andrew Ooh. is tall guy, but still he need like 30, 35 kilo. He's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not easy. You know, people saw him in the, uh, alone, no, without any uh, professional bodybuilder. He looked like Ronnie Coleman. But when you put him with people like a uh, second second line from Olympia, we'll, we'll see something different. I know. I promise. Uh, we have Andrea Presti uh, competing at the Ohio, uh, uh, UK. Uh, Martin Fitzwater. Uh, uh, Mark, that you know where... He... How's that going to be? Mark versus Patrick uh, Abdullah. Bro, look, look, listen, listen. I, I love Mark. Mark is my athlete. I told him you 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 be next future, but still I didn't see uh, Mark like improving like uh, like like the upper body, like uh, traps, middle rumble, like back hamstring. You know, I, I love. I, I'm best fans from Mark, and still I I, I stay in touch with him, and uh, I support him. But this is no joke. Patrick is no joke. We'll never see any more shit beat Patrick again. We'll go warm up. I don't care about anybody there. We'll go winning, go Olympia, and uh, uh, Patrick up after Arnold. I told them, no show. We go Arnold, winning, go Dubai, guest posing with the Brandon Carey together, fight with the Brandon, guest posing, then we go together uh, Vegas this year. And uh, we talk about picture from Rami. I, did, I, I didn't care about picture because uh, uh, the, the stage is uh, it make uh, too much more than picture, you know? The stage, I'm stage guy, I'm, 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 I'm fight guy, I'm fighter, you know? I'm never scared about Victor, you know. Uh, one last thing about branding, Abdullah. Uh, bro, bro, bro. I challenge, I challenge best bodybuilder all the time. I challenge Phil Heath. Nobody like uh, better than Phil Heath. His best bodybuilder all the time. I challenge him, then I beat him in Olympia. Brandon Curry now. He's coming out. Uh, you know I'm a big Brandon Curry supporter all these years, and... I am a little bit worried, Abdullah and Ahmed, because I've seen Nick Walker and these Hunter Labradas and Big Ramy now. And Brandon, with the size, he's coming. Do we have enough time to beat Big Ramy at this Olympia? Easy. Yes, we have time. Easy. We have exactly... Listen, last year we had 11 weeks. With for, we fought fought with... for Olympia. For the Olympia, we had 11 weeks, and we and we fought good fight with Big Rami. Yeah. This year we have like 17 weeks, so we, we're okay. Bro, bro, I went with I went with the brand 11 weeks, and I went out of nine weeks. If you put 16 weeks, I went <laughs> put all the the line up all day long. You know, nobody. We'll can make it. it very tough this year. We'll make yeah. it very tough for everybody else. 
you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm so, so happy. Why? Because uh, I'm, I have Patrick now and I have Brandon. I will, I will see some challenge here in the gym, some like competition, you know, training. Yeah, of, they will challenge you know, each other. You know, exactly. Man. That's that. That's going to be. This is, I, I, bro, I, I told you something. This is guy strong. Look, I saw a strong uh, bodybuilder uh, in my eyes, Rolly, Rolly, Rolly Wickler, Rolly. And now when I say uh, Patrick is more than Rolly stronger, you know. Really? And, uh, look, yeah, more. And bro. I, I have mis mistake one time with Patrick. I forget uh, send him. Uh, I I send him program. I put three hour cardio. I forget to remove two time uh, cardio. Then he do three hour cardio. Then Ahmed he told me, bro, this guy is not a human. Three hours and what? What? Uh, only one hour. Then I forget to remove two hour. This guy he listen everything. If you I say don't eat gum, we don't eat gum. Will you will you follow Patrick to so, Ahmed? Will you follow Patrick to the to the UK? Oh yeah, we will we, we'll go together. Good. Man. This together. is cool. Patrick, uh I remember I saw you for a long like with your horrible the way pro not pro debut, but when you were prepping for your pro debuts when you couldn't get into Romania and all this type of <laughs> scandal. You remember those shows? I remember it, man. Back to tell me 18, uh, 19, 20. You know, those are some bad years, man. And now at the Arnold UK, when you told me about things didn't go as planned with your prep, but you still made top fourth. I know you're not proud of top fourth, but bro, I can... bro, bro, Nathan Diaz, I can with Patrick. He told me when he saw me about picture in my page in my uh, Instagram. He told me I don't need, I don't know how I beat this guy. This guy is fucking freaky. Have everything. He looked like uh, uh, Ronnie Coleman, and uh, Patrick is he looked like uh, uh, same like. Uh, he is not wide, but he's very thick. He have crazy legs, crazy hamstring. Nobody can catch him. We'll see back double, back last bridge, front last bridge, side chest as well. We'll see something crazy. And uh, after the interview, I show you uh, some picture. We'll see like crazy. Be because I hope you will send them to me because we're gonna edit a lot of pictures in, so we can have it in the video. Is that okay? And the good thing, and the good thing, he's young. He's he's he has like. Long, long way ahead of him, you know. So that's the good thing. He's he's uh, he's young. He he didn't reach his peak yet. So we have time. And no injuries or nothing. Say what? There's no injuries either. No, no, no. no. He's perfect. First time in a long, long career, man. All this year long, I've been trained injury free, man. You can't beat me when I'm injury free. Then you can, guys. There is a new star coming. It's Patrick Johnson. We we can't wait to the Arnold Classic. I, obviously, I'm going to be there. We're going to cover it live. And uh, Patrick, I'm really excited with those new pictures that came out. Now you finally you see the, you know, the Instagram where people are like, wow, who is this? Who is this? And this is your time right now, Patrick. And I, and I can't wait to see it. It is on time, man. Someone have to be shown those guys, man. They are too boring to look at me. <laughs> the body really needs some excitement, man. Fantastic. Ahmed, Abdullah, Patrick, thank you guys very much for your time. Oh, hey, wait, wait, Abdullah, let me see. <laughs> Come closer. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Patrick, you can all year long, man. Why you have yo, yo, freaky yo. arms too, man? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Look, 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 look. Special triceps, triceps. Oi, 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 oi. Abdullah, three bro, quick. Bro, three... I want to say from bro. I want to say from people from the lineup in the UK. You need jumping another show. Think about another show. I promise, coming from not win only a one show all the world. Patrick is here. Quick question, Abdullah. Just, just answer quick. Uh, just some other Olympia questions because you follow everything. Men's physique. Who's winning it? The same guy who won it last year. Can anyone beat Chris Bumstead at this 2022 Olympia? Never. <laughs> Do you watch any female bodybuilding or bikini or anything? No, no, I don't find a bikini. And there we go. Thank you very much.
You're bye welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.